Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Escape SEL Hybrid. This is the SEL trim with the hybrid motor. You've got your electric motor and your gas motor in one, same as on the economy here. Great trim level, you've got nice roof racks up top, good for transporting cargo. Let's take a look at what the SEL trim offers. You do have your blind spot detection on the mirrors there. Intelligent access door handles and remote entry keypad. Moving on to the interior, you do have your power window controls, power mirror controls, locked and unlocked, and you have a nice stainless steel uh, column here along the side door trim. Leather interior here on this SEL with power lumbar and power seats for the driver, manual for the passenger. To the left of the steering wheel, you've got your trunk release, your gas cap open, your lighting controls, fog lights, and your dimming for the dashboard. Getting on in, it is push button start, seamlessly quiet, and you do have on the left here your kilowatts, and then on the right is your speedometer. Halogen headlights up front. You've got a nice smaller screen in here. This is where your information on your dash is, so fuel economy with electric driving, trip one, tire pressure, and this is fully customizable, so you can put different screens on here. So you have your trip two you can put on. This trip, your EV coach and eco coach, tire pressure monitoring, four wheel drive, and your seat belts, and then a now playing tab. You also can put audio on here, your phone settings, and various other settings can be controlled in here with a brake coach. Moving on to the steering wheel, you do have your lane keep assist on the blinker stock, and then your cruise control on the left with your volume up and down. And on the right is your menu controls for the dash and your media controls. Sync 3 sound system is in here. You do have your radio with satellite radio. Uh, you have your compass in here, and you've got a power monitoring system, so you can view your output of the battery. It's called Power Flow. You can see right now it is just idling. Going into your radio, you do have various sources, so you've got Sirius XM and then Bluetooth stereo. So you can connect your phone, listen to your own music, and take your own phone calls to the phone or through the radio system. You do have your driver's assistance tab in here. This is where you have your lane keep assist. Pre-collision with warning and braking, your rear view park aid, your blind spot, grade assist, park aid, cross traffic alert, and driver's alert. Various vehicle settings in here, so you can control your max idle, your occupant alert, your my key. You can set up remote start, your wipers, your power lift gate, lighting, and locks. You have Ford Pass Connect, so you can do a vehicle hotspot in here if you have that set up. You've also got Ford Pass, so you can start your vehicle from anywhere in the world with your telephone or your cell phone. Wi-Fi settings in here, and you've also got various other things such as voice control and display settings. Below that is your manual uh, tuning controls for your radio with a comm screen. And then you've got climate, which is dual zone, heated seats, and heated steering wheel. And then down here you've got a cubby with a two USB ports and a 12-volt outlet, so you can charge up some devices up front. Your center column shifter, electric parking brake, brake hold, and you have various drive modes, which do include normal, eco, sport, slippery, deep snow and sand. So you can take this thing anywhere so it is all wheel drive. Up top is a area for some sunglasses and you've got two dome lights up here as well. Coming around to the back of the Escape, you do have your rear park sensors along the back bumper, dual exhaust output. You've got your backup camera right above the license plate cover. You do have your hybrid all wheel drive badge down here to open the trunk, press the button once and it is a power lift gate. Then you do have your Nice rubber floor mats in the trunk here, which is really nice for cleaning. Below that, you do have under storage with a spare tire and a few other compartments so you can put some stuff. 12-volt outlet is located on the side, so you can charge up some devices in the back. And then you can also put your front, your back seats down from up in the middle row to increase your storage greatly for the trunk. To close the trunk, you just have the button up here, and it comes down for you. Diving into the back seating area, you've got your cubbies on the door with cup holders and your built-in speaker. Leather seating in the rear as well. Nice headrest, also leather, and then you've got your lever here to pull down if you want to fold your, for your seat forward. Rubber floor mats are also in this Escape. And then you've got a storage cubby in front of you here. You've got two adjustable vents for climate for your rear passengers, and then you've got a USB-A and USB-C port so your rear passengers can charge up their devices while they're on their in the back seat on the road trip or anything like that. You also got a drop down armrest with built in cup holders, also made of leather. Really nice material here. You keep your drinks nice and sturdy for your rear passengers. 
and they're equipped with grab handles and their own individual dome light up top. And then we move up towards the front of the Escape. You do have your recently redesigned front end in 2020, but this is the 2021 model, so not a whole lot has changed. You have your halogen headlights, LED daytime running lights, and fog lights. You have your front grille with active grille shutters as well. So all around a great, economically friendly SUV. So make sure to come on over to McPhee Ford to get your hands on this Ford Escape SEL Hybrid. As always, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.